Hey guys, Jimmy's from Jimmy Two Tech here. Got the other Jimmy over here off camera, panning quick. Yeah, not much room with this fire pit here, but uh, currently we are on campcation up here in the Adirondacks. We're on uh, Fourth Lake, as you see from the scenery behind me. Really nice lake up here in the Adirondacks. So we're doing our little campcation. So I have my tent in my sleeping bag set up over there. I'll show you guys in the video. But this right here is my go bag. We thought we'd take a little time to kind of take apart our camp bag for you guys because uh, I don't see too many videos that have a good thorough overview of everything they have in their bag. Hopefully this kind of sparked your guys' interest or you can kind of get ideas for what you want to put in your bag. So uh, just breaking it down real quick, you got your go bag which is basically everything you need for about three days of camping, uh, give or take. Mine's a little bit luxurious. I have some things that you might not want to carry with you weight wise but for me, when I'm all loaded up, I'm roughly around 34-ish pounds without water, which me carrying it's not bad. It's got to be specialized to you what you're willing to carry around for longer distances. So after taking everything out here, I have mine separated into bags. So I'll pause the video here in a minute, take everything out of each bag, and then I'll kind of zoom in on a section and explain everything that's kind of in this. So hopefully you guys can kind of see everything I have, get some ideas off of this. And... Uh, We'll go from there. All right, since I said I'd throw this in here, this is the tent I have set up already. This is a Wenzel, uh, what is, how many seasons is this? Four seasons? It's a four season. Four season tent, uh, used it quite a bit. Have no complaints really, besides the tiny little uh, stake, stake things. I mean, I broke one in the corner, I got no stake, but again, can't be perfect. Uh, I also like this one too, because it's got the little foot mat in the front. Okay, so first thing we have here, most important, is the bag itself, uh, name. Uh, it is the High Sierra Titan 65. Alright, so there's your technical name if you're searching for this. I'll give you a quick overview of this bag, some of the features it's got here. It's got uh, the hydration uh, bladder inside of it, which I already have in here, as you see, kind of hanging right here. So, of course, that doesn't come with it, but that's definitely good to put in here when you're carrying your water. Other features it's got here. It's got the waist straps, which is very important. That's where you carry most of the weight here. So definitely, these are good, rugged, durable. They have two little pouches here. Put snacks in there. I put my uh, little first aid kit in there, my little baby first aid kit, just in case I get a cut or scrape or anything I want to clean out. So you got two of those. I'd say a walkie-talkie holder because you're not fitting today's cell phones in that little pouch. But uh, next thing too is it is frameless, so it, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's rigid, but it doesn't have those big old metal rods that run through it that really uh, you feel on your back. So definitely like that. Uh, adjustable uh, straps here, depending on your size. This slides right up here, so depending on your size body frame, you can adjust this to be best for you, more comfortable. Height-wise, me, I'm only like 5'8", so that's why I have a little bit lower. Works for me fine, and I still have a few options to go lower, so if you're anything lower than 5'8", uh, it'll work fine for you. Uh, my dad there, he's six foot. His ride's a little bit higher, but still perfect on him, he can tell you. And it uh, also has more slots up higher, so if you're over six foot, you'll do pretty good. I don't know how much more over six foot, but then again, just know if you're on six foot range, it's definitely going to be comfortable, something you're going to want here. I'm gonna flip it around here. This is going to look kind of loose right now because it's kind of stretched out from when I have everything in the bag, so right now it's kind of floppy but you got a whole bunch of compartments right up in here on top you hold all your stuff all good it's got a little clip in there for you the tops also actually has survival essentials I mean that's a cool little feature in there it's got a little zipper up here this is where I keep all my maps and everything the main compartment right here it's, it's got like a little draw strap in here so you have two draw straps so this kind of keeps water away from it. So you would just open that up. Room in here. It's hard to see inside of it, but again, good size. There's not too many pockets inside of there besides for the bladder that's in there, but it gives you the basic idea. Uh, little compartment up front. You could put any kind of clothes you wanted in there if you're just trying to dry something off or just throw something in there last minute. Pocket right in front self-explanatory. Uh, other feature that I do like with this one, which I'm sure other bags have it, but right down here you can keep your sleeping bag, which is where I put it. I just have some uh, 
my dry bag and stuff from my tent and sleeping bag that's over there. So, so right down here you can put your sleeping bag right in there. It's perfect size for a sleeping bag. And then you have clips right here in the bottom. This right here is where I'd keep my uh, my stool, my tent. I have my tent in like a dry bag I keep on here. Tent poles I keep right in the side. So everything fits on here nicely. So that's just a quick overview of the bag for you guys. Uh, one last feature I want to mention on this bag is the bottom here. You open it right up, there's actually a yellow rain fly that covers this whole entire bag. So if it starts to rain, you don't want to get any of this wet. You just open that up, set the rain fly right on top of it, and then you're basically covered. Your bag won't really get completely soaked, which is definitely a plus. So that's just a quick overview of this bag. If you guys have any more questions on it, feel free to leave it right in the comments. I'll get back to it. As I said, we're going to break this down into little categories. So first one I'm going to do is rope and knives. Uh, I keep two knives in here. I keep my buck pack light, one of my favorite knives. I love any knife that's buck, so I keep that one in there. I wrap the handle with paracord so that can come in handy for anything I need, but I'm pretty sure I carry enough of it with me. Foldable bow saw. This is definitely good to have in there because if you're getting firewood, it's, it's definitely better to, instead of getting a whole bunch of little sticks, you can actually cut down something that's close to like a log size. You can actually burn for longer periods of time. Hatchet. I got uh, an MTech USA hatchet balance. It's all as one piece. It's not like a two-piecer, which I prefer, so there's less chance. Actually, there's no chance of it actually, like, the top head just coming right off. So, that's good. That's got a lot of use already. <laughs> and then I just have my secondary knife. I mean, I don't use this one as much, per se, but just basic little knife with a little bit of flint in there, so all good. I mean, I have like eight different ways to start a fire in this bag, but if I have to fall back to that, I do have it with me. Um, paracord, uh, Paracord 550, pretty self-explanatory, it's just rope. But I also got this new thing that I found, uh, Survivor Cord, which is basically the equivalent to Paracord. It holds the same weight and everything, but uh, inside of this actually has like fishing line, a little copper wire, whole bunch of different kind of stuff you can use so it's multi-use which is actually really cool especially having the fishing line built into the wire definitely a really cool feature okay so next category we have is a little bit of more like bug slash miscellaneous i'm going to show you so start on this side here we have that monocule i was talking about with that bag the pouch i have there for it just a basic little monocule 8 by 21 so always have that in there gorilla tape i mean come on tape is good for absolutely everything Bug spray. I have a 40% D and I have a, what is this, 25%. I'm going to go a little bit higher than 25% because it doesn't work as good. And uh, if you don't like bugs, because I absolutely hate them, uh, Thermacell, I would definitely recommend checking this out, guys. This definitely works as advertised. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing bad I can really say about this thing. Comes a little butane pouch you put right in here. If it comes out fuel and then you have little pouches you can just set the pouch right in there light it up it's like a little baby I can't really say fire heating element. a little heating element that just sets off kind of like the fragrance that just keeps bugs away the bug repellent fragrance in the pad yep that works for around they say a 10 foot was it 10 15 feet? foot oh, 15 foot barrier and honestly it truly does work I've used it quite a bit so definitely recommend checking this out if you guys want to see I don't know, maybe something later. I can make a video on this separately if you guys are interested. Uh, knife sharpening kit. I didn't throw this in the last category. Forgot about it. Always good to have a knife sharpening kit, especially if you're carrying your knives in the woods. You don't want those to get dull because then they won't do what you need them to do. Uh, this is like optional. I keep a little uh, thermometer in here just to know the temperature. I guess it's just like a little peace of mind to know the temp. <laughs> and then a uh, little survival bracelet. This is made out of paracord. It's got the little fire starter in it and a little whistle too, so I just throw this on my wrist when I go on a hike or anything like that, so that sums it up for this category, so we'll move on to the next one. Alright guys, sorry if this video looks any different slash the camera angles are different, but uh, my Nikon battery died and, you know, we're camping, so there's no really way to charge it besides solar and that takes some time, so we'll uh, go with that. Uh, so the next category I have here is like water and first aid. So first thing I'm going to start us off with is the life straw. 
I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about this, but if you haven't, it's just a filtration straw. Highly recommend. Let's you drink out of lakes. I mean, I've drinking out of puddles, uh, lake water. But before you go sipping on anything, make sure you do read it. I don't want you guys to go get sick or not use it properly and get sick. So uh, going right into that, we'll go right into the bottle. This is a life straw bottle, which is basically just a water bottle with a life straw built into it. So when you drink it, you're filtering the water. So if you're going on a hike or something, you find a body of water, uh, let's say lake water, you know, some usable source of water, scoop it up, and then you can filtrate it right through this. Definitely handy. Work into first aid. This is uh, a medical kit. You can get these at, I've seen them at like uh, Gander Mountain. You can get them on Amazon. They're basically like little kits for group sizes and days. So this is a group of one to two people, one to four days. It comes with a uh, little uh, sealable thing in here. Mine doesn't seal right now just because I stuffed it with more stuff than you really need. But this is a wide variety of stuff. If you do guys find this online or something like that, it'll give you a list of everything it has in it. Uh, but the bag does have a little extra space in here. So I put like alcohol prep pads, ibuprofen, vitamins, stuff like that. So I'll throw that right in there. Just leave it like this right now. Then I have my quick first aid. This goes in the uh, the side panel of my backpack, so it's really quick access. It's just a quick little first aid kit, band aids, alcohol prep pads, and a little bit of like neosporin. So that's like anything quick cut or something I can easily clean out. That's what that's for. Then I just threw in a little air horn into this category. I mean, th this will help signal you for stuff, scare away predators I would imagine but that, that'd be some of my last resort so okay I call this my toiletry bag uh, my camo bag here so this is gonna be a pretty quick run through here uh, just gonna spend a little quick time talking about camp suds though so this is all-purpose cleaner uh, basically takes a small little bit like I'm talking like Dawn dish liquid amount like a small little drop here it's good for the environment though, so like if you were to like rinse your dishes in a lake, when rinse your clothes, you can wash your face with it. So this is definitely good to have because it works for everything and it's super concentrated so you don't need to use a lot of it. I've been using this quite a bit and I've seriously only used a small little bit. Tape on top was just to make sure that the cap didn't open up in my bag because that would have been bad. That is biodegradable, but you're not supposed to use it around alpine plants for some of those areas that have it. Yep, uh, it's got everything on the back here. You read through it. Uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, definitely good to have. Gold bond, just in case your feet get wet, I guess. Uh, sunscreen, definitely always remember sunscreen. Like, I cannot emphasize that enough because the sun will mess you up. Uh, this is just a small little thing I got here. Just a few wipes and another boat in the distance. Uh, Clorox wipes to go. Again, if you hit like a travel section of like a Walmart or something, you get quite a bit of this stuff here. So like Clorox wipes, clean your hands, anything like that. Mouthwash, Q-tips, chapstick, little uh, dental floss picks. I drew a blank on that one for a second. I got vitamins in here, just like a little bottle of them, just in case you know you're not eating what you need to be eating. That'll give you some vitamins. Uh, just some more ibuprofen I threw in here. This was just like a, a bottle. I already had some I opened, so I just threw it in this bag. Uh, deodorant, clean next case you got yourself a runny nose. Uh, washcloth, wash your face, hands, anything like that. I do usually have like two to three in here, but I use those, so this is the only one I have in the bag right now. And then I have some, uh, what do we got here? Field washcloth, wash, like wipe your hands off, anything like that. Odor free, odor eliminating, refreshes, rinse free, heavy durable towel set, new standard of performance. So I keep all that up in here, and that is this toiletry bag. So now we're gonna open up the uh, the fishing bag, as you can probably vision here. Uh, I keep uh, gloves in here, little fishing gloves. I got these like on sale at Walmart, like they were really, really cheap clearance, so I just grabbed a few pairs and put one in the bag. Hooks uh, varying in sizes depending where I'm at. If I'm like at a small lake, I'm going to use small hooks instead of the larger ones. But depending where I am and the size fish, change for that. Uh, fishing line, I keep some strand. This is, what, 8 pound? And then I have uh, 12 pound right here. This is like more like a travel size. There's not as much on here, but I got that primarily for like the little fishing pole I have, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, again, these are small little hooks. Got this just at Walmart. 
just twist around. You have different size hooks for stuff. Uh, insect repellent bracelets. Again, I haven't per se had much success with those, but I really don't like bugs, so I'll try anything to get rid of them. Uh, and then just uh, swivels, more hooks, uh, pliers. I keep a little plier set to take the fish out of uh, the hook out of the fish's mouth. That's that's proper. Just in case I need to and I can't get it out too easy, I do have the plier set. Plus, it's a multi-tool, so I can use it for other stuff. Uh, the the little masterpiece here. The coolest part of this is this pen. It's seriously a fishing pole. You can extend it out here. And then there's this little reel you can string with line. It's it's the coolest thing ever. Seriously, it's it's that simple. I mean, it's cute. But like in an emergency situation where you didn't want to carry your fishing pole, you didn't have it, you can fit. Okay, next category we have here is lighting slash missile. Not really miscellaneous, but we'll go with that here. So headlamp. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cheaper ones you can get if you want to carry them. Example, this one, but I prefer this one as in brightness-wise, different modes, strobe. Uh, the batteries are rechargeable ones. It's not ones I have to, like, throw in double A's every, like, hour. Um, so that's why I have this one. Definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for a different light than that other one. Glow sticks, in case of emergency, anything like that. Always keep two glow sticks in here. Uh, this right here... The Lucy, I cannot like speak more highly of this. It's a little solar powered lantern. You just like open it, you blow it up. You can use your mouth. I just pull it apart here, but just to show you kind of thing. It would fill up solar charges and has three different settings, low, high, and it's got like a little flash, then off. Battery wise, these things last like all night. I mean, I usually throw it right in the top of my tent, and I'm usually good. In the morning, I'll just set out in the sun, and then it never really dies. I haven't had a problem with that. Uh, charging stuff, I have uh, solar panels. That's like a three-little-way solar panel there, so I'll set that out in the sun. This has two little USB ports in here, so I can charge stuff. I have a battery pack right now, but that's currently not with me. But uh, just like one of those external battery packs that holds like 10,000 milliamps, so I can charge up my cell phone, uh, anything like that. Uh, last but not least, I have the little emergency radio. It's a uh, solar powered radio. It's also hand crank, so if it runs out of juice, you can always hand crank it. All right, throwing this in here. This is like maps, a little bit of entertainment and fire starting stuff. I'm kind of consolidating stuff because, I mean, there's more categories than I really thought. My bag's got a lot of stuff in there. Uh, book, this is like a survival handbook. I mean, uh, this is like something to read at night or if it's raining while I'm camping or something, I'd read right through it. Take Got a good chunk of it done right now, but plus if you have any like survival like questions, I guess, or need like a refresher on how to make traps or something, this book's got it all in there. Uh, compass, need it for the map, but definitely good to have a compass. Again, I'm from like the Adirondack region, so I have maps of Adirondacks. Uh, definitely know how to actually use a map and compass. That's definitely good ability to have pack of cards so i can play solitaire by myself or like when i'm with the, the other jimmy we can always play cards stuff like that got to keep yourself entertained too you don't want to like bore yourself especially when it's raining outside or you're stuck in your tent uh fire one right here and another boat we are on an island after all <laughs> yeah uh, i have a little bag of magnesium Keep that right in there. Wet fire. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. This is cool little stuff here. Uh, you just light it on fire and it burns for a few minutes. It's also floats. So if you were to like set it on fire and like set it in the water, it would just float in the water. Uh, them burning for a few minutes is definitely helpful to get a fire started. So I usually keep a few of those in my bag. But again, I've been using them because we are camping. So uh, I got like a whole one left in this. So I'll refill it when I get home. Uh, just a bar of magnesium and flint. Uh, waterproof matches. You could go regular matches, but like honestly, it's probably best to go waterproof. It's got the little striker on the side, just a little container. So you got a few ways to start a fire there. Always your lighter. Uh, I definitely recommend a jet lighter torch instead of uh, 
like a Zippo just because the wind will blow it out. This is nice to have. That one's a windproof uh, ultimate survival one. Yep. Uh, then I have just another bar, flint and steel. Um, next category we have here is uh, food, cooking, prepping, anything of that nature. So uh, to give you guys an idea, this is just some of the food I have. I didn't want to put it all on the table, plus I've used some. These are National Geographic little... I'm not going to say dehydrated, but you just put, like, boiling water in most of this stuff. You're good. Uh, they have some of them that are just snack bags, so I would just, like, open up these banana chips and eat them up if I want a snack. But oatmeal, chili macaroni with beef, pasta marinara with beef, strawberry oatmeal because you need a good breakfast, uh, cheesy broccoli and rice, another cheesy broccoli and rice. Uh, they come in a whole bunch of different varieties, but... You know, I've eaten some of the good ones because they're delicious. And I've camped quite a few times with this bag, so I've eaten some of it. Yeah, uh, i got a boat in the background if you guys hear it. Uh, next one we have here is uh, cooking, like, stove stuff. So I have a jet boil, jet power, uh, little propane tank, we'll call it. You just open this right up. Then you have a stove top here. This, this is a pretty pretty nifty thing. It's like one of my favorite things here. You just open this right up. Screw it on there. This one's cool because it's also got the ignition switch on there. So you wouldn't need like a lighter and aim in a flame or something. You just twist it to turn it on. And you have yourself a little, uh, little place to put your pot onto so you can cook up, boil up water, anything like that. So, oh, This is a jet one too, so this is really good for if it's windy out, it, it keeps it cooking pretty evenly, so I'd recommend something like this to carry with you. Uh, the fuel tanks, now you can get them like at Walmart. Uh, I got these off of uh, Amazon, but you can get them, off, get them from Walmart now, so they're pretty easily replaceable now. Uh, can last you quite a while. I've used this four or five camping trips, cook quite a bit of stuff on it. That is a bug that I do not like. It is a dead bug. Uh, so that's the stove kind of stuff. And then I always have my fallback stove. Uh, this one's just a... Uh, let me open it up for you guys if I can. If I'm not like in a hurry or the weather's okay just to save fuel, I use this. Just folds right open like this. You have little... Uh, fuel pods we'll call them you just light those on fire with like a match uh and they cook for a certain amount of time so they'll keep a flame off there so you can boil water uh so example if i'm trying to boil water fast i'd use this if i have a little bit of time or the you know it's not too windy i'll put like two two or three of those on there boil a pot of water that's like my quick fallback because you get a box with a lot of tablets so you know exactly how much fuel you have instead of having a can which you don't really know when you're going to be out so that will set that to the side. Uh, cooking set. I de definitely recommend getting a cooking, a good cooking set. Uh, I've already had one previously. I didn't like as much, so I got this one right here. Uh, it's got the little scrub brush. Give yourself a little spoon, spork, cups, bowls, cooking pot. I like the handles on these ones. The last ones I had, the handles were kind of flimsy, so when you were actually like, getting water, you couldn't hold it that good, especially putting it over fire like that, trying to balance it on there. It wasn't good. And then you got your little frying pan. Again, so that's like the cooking set. Also comes with a little wooden spoon, so you can mix up your, your shenanigans. Set that to the side here. Uh, military grade can opener if you do decide to pack cans uh, any kind of canned food or something definitely have a can opener otherwise you're going to be stuck <laughs> uh, seasonings this is just as I said this is like luxury stuff uh, the food tastes fine but it's nice to have salt pepper anything else so if let's say you catch a fish or something you want to season it up definitely good to have that stuff um, I keep these little containers I got these like really really cheap at Walmart I think it was like 25 cents for one of these cases so me for one of them i put tea bags in there because drinking water all the time can get very like not enjoyable so mixing up with a little bit of tea bags or having some tea some hot tea when it's cold out definitely nice to have so my other one's just full of domino sugar
because I can't drink non sugarless tea. It's just disgusting to me. <laughs> uh, spoon, fork, and knife. This is just one of those foldable ones. You can take these right apart. Fork, spoon, knife, can opener, little bottle opener, I Cork guess. Corkscrew. Corkscrew. That's, that's the terminology we need. Um, uh, if you guys are interested or ever do and you decide to get like an MRE, uh, I had like one of those in the bag. I used the MRE, but they still had some of the packets with like the salt, uh, pieces of gum, stuff like that. So I just kept a little bag in there. As I said, it's good to have sugar, salt, little wipes and stuff there. Uh, when you have all that stuff, it makes your stay a lot more enjoyable than having to eat like non-seasoned food or yeah, it's just a lot better. Just a little spork. This is like the quick one I use. Just scoop it up really fast instead of using the other ones I have. Foldable cup. I haven't used this yet. I just bought this. Got it clearance. So I figured I'd throw it in the bag because it's pretty nice. But just again, it's just a collapsible cup. Scoop up some water. Put it in your pot. I don't know. Whatever you want to use it for, you can drink out of it. Or some of that tea. Yeah, some of that tea. Definitely. I mean, I'm not like English and stuff like that but I do enjoy a good cup of tea uh, aluminum foil I just put this in here because if I'm like cooking fish or anything like that over fire definitely good to have aluminum foil because that stuff does not like to come out of pans or if you're cooking over grates or anything like that good to have aluminum foil then last but not least I just threw in a few pieces of trident gum because again luxury stuff after you're done with your meal chew a piece of gum so that's basically the cooking and uh, food setup. So we'll move on to the next category. Uh, this right here, I'm just tagging in here. Definitely a luxury item because uh, camping, sitting on stumps or the ground's not comfortable. Uh, this is like a little foldable stool, which I'll build for you guys and show you here in a second. So we're just going to pause the video and build it. And to show you, it holds up to the weight. I mean, give or take, I'm only 150-ish pounds, but uh, the other Jimmy's sat in it too. So it holds, you know. 225. Yeah, 225 at least, so you'll be good. I mean, I wouldn't recommend like really rocking hard or anything, but this is the luxury of the bag. I definitely like it because it only weighs like a pound or so. So it's definitely cool to add in there. Definitely better. It is adjustable too, so if you're a little bit taller, you can adjust the legs. So you're not like sitting with your knees up. We're just about at the end here. Clothing's definitely a big thing. Always have like a rain poncho. Definitely recommend having one in case it rains and you need to travel out in it. You do not want to get wet. Especially if it's cold out. That is just like a formula for hypothermia. You just don't want it. Always keep a fleece with you. Again, this is pretty, pretty... It changes a lot on your condition of uh, your climate of where you're traveling or hiking. So if you're in a colder climate, definitely carry more layers that are warmer. If you're somewhere warm, don't be afraid to pack stuff that might seem a little bit over prepared. What I'm wearing right here, this is like a uh, fishing jacket kind of thing. Keeps the sun off you. It's like 50 SPF. Uh, folds up. Has a lot of pockets in it. Has like a little air flat back here. Keeps you cool. Uh, pants wise, these are like a uh, collapsible pants you can say or like convertible convertible there you go so you can just take the leg right off so you can take the bottom pant leg if you do need to go into water if you get hot they dry pretty quick they have a lot of pockets so i recommend something like that to use that's why this is usually what i wear when i'm out and about in the woods all right and last but not least thank you uh always carry a little extra bag this is like one of these foldable bags that folds into itself i got this clearance that jc Penney's. I throw this in the go bag. Uh, usually when I set up my camp, I don't want to carry the go bag everywhere. Like if I'm going to go get water or something. So take this bag, open it up, put a few knives, first aid stuff in there, containers, anything like that. Take it with you so you're not carrying around the bag. So that's definitely good to add on there. Uh, so that basically sums it up. It took a lot longer than I actually anticipated. I kind of forgot how much stuff I actually put into this because I've been building it over uh over i'd say like a year or so roughly what would you say a year years so? it's probably been two and a half years 
Yeah, two and a half years. So every time I go camping, I take my bag, uh, and that helps me figure out what I want to add in there next time, what I need to put more in there of, what I need to take out. Again, you kind of have to have it, I, you know, perfect for your weight, what you can carry. So again, this isn't too much to carry for me for long distance. So this is what I go with. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe it might spark some interest in go bagging or give you an idea of stuff you want to put in your bag. Uh, again, I've explored YouTube a little bit. So is the other Jimmy looking for videos uh, of other people's bags to get an idea of what we wanted to put into ours. So we figured we'd take the time while we're out here camping and uh, kind of show you what's in it. So if you guys have any more questions, comments on any of the products, maybe you want to see another video on something more specific, feel free to just leave it right in the comment section. We'll get right back to you. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Any support helps. I absolutely love making videos when I get positive feedback from you guys. It makes it much more enjoyable. Uh, so as always, have a nice day.